Welcome back to Magic Tarot. This is Jasmine with a three-card spread for all air signs. This is a love bonus for the next three months. Air signs for the next three months. This is a love bonus for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I pre-shuffle the cards and have three cards here waiting for you. We have the Hierophant, the Magician in the Reverse, and the Page of Cups. Okay, let's start with the Hierophant. <clears throat> here you see a man that's sitting on a throne with both hands up in the air. One is holding a staff. This is usually considered a staff. And the other one is, he's holding up two fingers. And he's higher up than the people below. So like he's up on a stand like a court, a judge, or the king. You know, but anyway, this card is the, the card of conformity. And the judge, so he has a final say-so. Okay, and if you notice, his crown has three layers. It's not just one, but it's three. So that means the kingdom of heaven. It's a triple crown, meaning the kingdom of heaven. And he's wearing a red red cloak, which is the kingdom of earth. Okay, so that's what that symbolizes there. Now, the two crosses, the two keys that are crossed here, that represents heaven and earth. Okay, so there's two men facing him. So here I'm seeing that a lot of you are going to be facing um, some type of judgment. <clears throat> Since this is a love reading, I'm seeing that someone's going to come to you and give you some type of judgment. They're going to either tell you yes or no, or what it is that they're thinking. Um, maybe they want a divorce, or maybe they want to end um, a relationship, or... I'm also seeing somebody in court. But this is a love bonus, but I'm still seeing someone in court. I'm seeing it uh, could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that you're involved with. Um, this card also comes up when someone needs, like, social approval. Like, they're, they're, they want approval from someone. You might be wanting approval from a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Or maybe your relationship, you know, you're not feeling that you're getting that approval from the from this person. Um... Also, I'm seeing, um, like I said, a court case. That you're going to get the final decision. Sorry, there's dogs barking outside. But you might not get the, the decision that you're hoping for or wanting. Do you hear those dogs out there? Jesus, that's the neighbor. Okay, anyway, they're having... Jesus, they're having a fight. <laughs> Sorry about that. They're right at my door. Okay, but anyway... Let's move on. I hope you can hear me. Now we have the magician in the reverse position. Okay, usually when it, when he's in the upright position, it means that new things are coming. You know, new life is starting, but it's in the reverse. So that right there tells me that there's been a pause, a slowdown. Um, your your what you were expecting isn't coming or might not come the way you want it to come it's going to come but maybe not the way you want it to come since you might be you might be feeling like let's say um you got a court decision and it didn't turn out the way you want it to so someone might be telling you oh you can do better than that or you might be telling yourself you can do better than that or you might be telling yourself that in a relationship you can do better than that okay you're your um, friends and family might be saying, hey, you can do better than that than who you're involved with. Or if you're, or if you're at a job, you can do better than that. Um, I'm seeing that... Um, hold on. I'm getting messages. Okay. I'm seeing that <clears throat> with this court case... Um, I'm still, I keep saying court case. This is a love bonus, but I'm still here in court case. Okay, with this, if you're involved in a court case, um, the judge is going to be telling you that. He's going to be telling you, you, you know, you can do better than that. For whatever it is that you did or someone did to you, that's going to be the outcome. They're going to be saying you can do better than that. That's what I keep hearing over and over. Okay. Oh, this reading is not as scattered. Okay, so with the Page of Cups, usually the Page of Cups is a message coming in, and it's a, a person that's younger than you. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, but it's in the reverse. So it's in, when it's in the reverse, either the person you're involved with is being 
um, like to himself, moody, brooding, detached, feeling sorry for themselves, or you may be feeling sorry for yourself. Um, there's not much attention being paid to like home life or the situation. This person might be, might prefer to be alone or you might be, prefer to be alone. Um, if you're dealing with someone like that, you might want to get them to talk or, or get their feelings out, you know, but don't overreact. Like if you're trying to get someone to talk to you, don't overreact because you're going to make the condition worse. Um, I'm saying that this is a younger person. It could be your children or it could be your, again, this is a love reading, but it could be someone that's close to you. But I am seeing a younger person. Um, this, this person here right now doesn't want to communicate and they have like built up emotions that, that, uh, they can't get out, but eventually they will come out. You just got to be patient. You got to sit down and talk to them. Um, be calm and um the information that you're seeking will will come out this reading is really scattered okay so i'm seeing that someone's going to give you a decision let me break it down for you because this is really scattered someone's going to give you a decision in love because this is a love reading but i'm also seeing a court so somebody's having a court that's going to get a decision that they're not going to like but anyway in love Someone's going to give you a decision. Either they want to marry you, they don't want to marry you, they want a divorce or don't want a divorce or don't want to be with you or something like that. Okay. And over here with the cup, um, you might be involved with someone that, that, uh, wants to get a divorce, but the, but you're, you're not sure if you want it or they're not sure you want it. The talk has come up. So this card here is telling you to get them to talk. They're, they're really like holding in their emotions and they're not happy. So get them to talk. So the, if you, if you're not wanting a divorce, get them to talk. Or if you're not wanting a breakup, get them to talk, but do it slowly. Don't rush into it. Don't push them. Cause the more you push, the more they're going to get away from you. Okay. Um, I would, I wouldn't break anything off right now during Mercury retrograde because you know, that's what that planet does. It redoes things. And if you break it off now, you might regret it later. Mercury goes direct August 2nd. So wait till August 2nd to make any major decisions as far as love and anything else for that matter. Okay. Um, don't be like this mag magician where you're turned upside down and your life isn't going as that great. Okay. So part of this energy here is because of Mercury retrograde. And that's what's coming in. So once it passes, things will turn upright again. That's what I'm saying. Wait till after August 2nd, and then you can make a decision if you want to leave this person or not. Or if this person has asked you for a divorce or a breakup, you know, then you can do that. As far as a court case, some of you are going to be in court and you're going to get a decision that you don't like. Uh, it's like someone is shaking their finger at you. They're scolding you and saying you can do better than that. Or you're doing that to somebody else. You might be doing that to your children your spouse, your lover, your friend, but somebody's getting their fingers shook at them and saying, hey, you can do better than that. It might be someone at your job or you're doing that to someone at your job. Okay, but again, this is a love bonus reading. So um, this energy here is very, very scattered for some reason, um, probably because of Mercury retrograde. But that's what I'm seeing for you air signs. Don't make any major decisions in love or anything else until after August 2nd. So you can be sure that's exactly what you want to do, you know, especially if someone's asking you to break up or, or divorce, tell them you want some time to think. And um, then maybe you can sit down and talk to them and try to get out what's really bothering them because there's something bothering this person, but they're not saying, they're not saying what it is. Okay. So if you can sit down, it could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So if you can sit down and talk to that person. And maybe they can get their feelings out. You can find out more what it is that's bothering them. And y'all can both work on it together. Okay. Anyway, that is your bonus love reading for all air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius for the next three months. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And check out my new channel. It's VSG Jazzy Cool. I'll put a link down at the bottom. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.